Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about print perfect number between 1 to 1000. So, let's uh, write code inside the main function. So, first uh, we need to take uh, integer variable sum initializing to 0 here after i n. Next, uh, write printf function and inside the double quote write perfect numbers between 1 to 1000 and uh, here after let's write for loop and here yeah, i value start from 1 and that check the condition i less than equal to 1000 and i plus plus and here after n initialize to 1 and next write while loop and here yeah, n less than equal to i by 2 and uh, inside the while loop let's write uh, if a statement and give the condition i mod n double equal to 0 if this condition is uh, true if i mod n double equal to uh, 0 if this condition is true or uh, then print sum equal to or uh, sum plus n and uh, n gonna increase by 1 and here after that's out from while loop and here yeah, if a statement again I uh, given the condition sum double equal to i and here yeah, I am going to print a print of function and here yeah, printing the value of i and here yeah, sum uh, equal to 0 so this is the code to print perfect number between 1 to 1000 let's uh, run the code so add here yeah, perfect number between 1 to 1000 6 28 4 9 6 so if you want to print to uh, till or uh, 10,000 so here 10,000 you try to uh, and give the condition for the 10,000 so at here this is the perfect number between 1 to 10,000 if you want to print to uh, only or uh, 100 so give in condition in for the 1 to 100 so 628 is the perfect number between 1 to 100 if you want to print till 10 so add here you need to write 10 add here so 6 is the only perfect number between 1 to 10 so this is the code of perfect number between 1 to n if you like to make this program in C++ language, so you need to change that your in place of printer function, right to C out and to here and you need to change here also. Replace C out or printer with C out. So this code is now in C++ language. So let's execute and uh, check the output. So at here 628, we need to uh, give some space here. Yeah. Now execute uh, it again. So at here the output comes 6, first is 6, uh, second is 28. So condition is 100. If you like to give 10,000, so output comes. Oh, uh, six, twenty-eight, four, nine, six. So, till thousand. If you want ten thousand, 
so I execute it again so this output is coming till 10,000 so for so this uh, must be a meaningful so execute it again so right here a perfect number between 1 to 10 or 1000 6 28 4 9 6 8 1 2 8 so this is the code of perfect number in C++ programming. So at here, the definition of perfect number, perfect number equal to sum of its divisor. So if I intro 6, so if I am going to do the divisor, so 1 is the divisor of 6, next is 2, here 3. So if you do the sum of its divisor, then the value come 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6. So 6 equal to 6, that's why 6 is a perfect number. Suppose if I enter number 9, so let's uh, do the divisor. So 1 is the divisor, next is 2 is not, or 3 is a divisor. 4, 6, 7, 8 is not a divisor of 9. So if you do the sum of 1 plus 3, so add here, the value come 4. So 9 double equal to 4, it's uh, not equal. So 9 is a not a perfect number. Suppose if I enter the number 24, so let's uh, uh, do the divisor. So 1 is the divisor, so next is 2, here of 2, or 3. Next, char, or oh, sorry, 4, here 5 is not 6, 7 is not 8, 9 is not 10 is not 11 is not 12 so let's uh, do addition of its all divisor so 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 and here 12 plus 8 or 20 20 plus 6 26 26 plus or 10 30 6. So at your 24 double equal to 36 is not equal. So 24 is a not a perfect number. Suppose if I enter 28, so let's the uh, here. So at here 1 is the divisor of 28. Next is 20 or 2. Here of 2. 3 is not 4. Here after 5 is not 6. 6 is not 7. 8 is not. 9 is not. 10 is not. 11 is not. 12, 13, 14. So 14 is the divisor of 28. So if you do this uh, sum. So 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus uh, 4, 7. 7 plus or 7 or 14 14 plus 14 28 so 28 equal to 28 so that 28 is a perfect number so perfect numbers are 28 and 6 and this is not a perfect number next i'm going to discuss about the trend method of this program so if you debug the code control go to main function here after that to go inside so I have taken all three integer variables. First is sum, and oh, this is initialized to zero. Here after i, and next n. Here after printer function. So what do we double cut that display into the output screen? Perfect number between one to ten thousand. So I'm going to print perfect number between one to ten. So I will so you only the logic of this program if i run the if i do or uh, test uh, perfect number between 1 to 10 thousand then that will take 4 5 hours stamps so right here inside the for loop i am giving condition 10 so here after control comes to for loop i go i start from 1 check the condition 1 less than 10 condition is true that coincides so n I start from 1 here and here while loop n less than equal to i by 2 so n value is 1, i value is 1, 1 by 2, the value comes 0. 
So 1 less than 0, condition is not true, not coincide here. If sum double equal to i, so 0 double equal to 1, condition is not true, not print. So again, start from in its last to 0 and here after that go up, increase the value of i. So next i is 2 now. Check the condition, 2 less than equal to 10, condition is true. So at here n value start from 1, while n less than equal to i. So i value is 2, 2 by 2, the value come 1. n value also 1, 1 equal to 1, condition is true. So here yeah, if i mod n, so i value is 2, n value is 1, 2 mod 1, remainder come 0. 0 equal to 0, condition is 2, sum equal to sum plus n. So 0 plus 1, sum is now 1. And here n gonna increase. So n is 2 now. And here after that go up, increase uh, that check the condition n less than equal to i by 2. So n value is 2, i value is 2 by 2, 1. So 2 less than equal to 1, condition is not to not coincide in her if sum equal to i. Sum value is 1, i value is 2. Both are not equal, not print sum again 0. So here after i gonna increase, so i is 3 now. Check the condition 3 less than 10, condition is 2. So n here 1, while n less than equal to i by 2. So n value is 1, i value is 3, 3 by 2, so this value is now 1. So 1 equal to 1, condition is 2, so here yeah, if some i mod n, so i value is now 3, n value is 1, 3 mod 1, remainder term 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is 2, sum equal to sum plus n. So 0 plus 1, sum is now 1. And here after n gonna increase, so n is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than equal to 1, condition is not to not coincide here. Yeah, if sum double equal to i, so sum value is 1, i value is 3. So both are not equal, so not print here. Yeah, sum is now 0 again. And here to that curve, increase the value of i. So i is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than 10, condition is 2. So that coincide here, yeah, n value start from 1 again. At here, while n less than equal to i by 2, so n value is now 1 i value is now 4, 4 by 2, so this condition is 2. So 1 less than equal to 2, condition is 2, that coincides, so add here if i mod n, so i value is now 4, n value is 1, 4 mod 1, remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is 2, sum equal to sum plus n. So 0 plus 1, sum is now 1, here after n go increase, so n is 2 now. Here that go up, increase, uh, check the condition, n less than equal to i by 2, so n is now or 2, i by 2, 4 by 2, <coughs> so this value is also 2, 2 equal to 2, condition is 2, so at a, it's i mod n, 4 mod 2, remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is 2, so sum equal to sum plus n, so 1 plus 2, sum is now 3, and here after i gonna, n gonna increase, n is 3 now, so here after that go up, in, check the condition, n, so 3 less than equal to 4 by 2, 2, so 3 less than equal to 2, condition is so, not true, not coincide here, if sum equal to i, sum value is 3, i value is so 4, both are not equal, not print, sum, again, n is less to 0. So here after i gonna increase, so i is 5 now, and here, i is 5, check the condition, 5 less than 10, condition is true, so n value start from 1 again, and here, n less than equal to i by 2, so n value is now, 1 i value is 5 by 2 so this value is 2 condition is 2 so 1 less than equal to condition is 2 is i mod n so i value is now 5 mod 1 remainder come 0 0 equal to 0 condition is 2 so sum equal to sum plus n so sum value is now 0 0 plus 1 so sum is now 1 again and here after n gonna increase so n is 2 now and uh, here after that go Check the condition, n less than equal to i by 2. So n value is 2, i by 2, 5 by 2. So this value is 2. 2 equal to 2, condition is 2. So if i mod n, so i value is 5, n value is 2, 5 mod 2, remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is so 0. So 5 mod 2, remainder come 1, 1 double equal to 0, condition is not true. So not do some here, n increase. So n is now 3. That go up, check the condition, 3 less than equal to, condition is not to not coincide here, yeah, if sum double equal to i. So sum value is now 1 and i value is the 5. So both are not equal, so both are not equal, then that not print sum is now 0 again. And here after i gonna increase, so i is 6 now. 
check the condition 6 less than equal to 10 condition is true so add here n value start from 1 again and here n equal to i n equal to i by 2 so n value is now 1 and i 6 by 2 so this value is 3 1 less than equal to 3 condition is true that coincides so at here if i mod n so i value is 3 sorry 6 n value is 1 6 mod 1 remainder comes 0 so add that sum equal to sum plus n so sum value is 0, 0 plus 1, sum is now 1. And here after n going increase, so n is 2 now. And here after that to check, 2 less than equal to 3, condition is true. So right here, if uh, 6 mod 2, i value is 6, n value is 2, 6 mod 2, remainder comes 0, sum equal to sum plus n. So sum value is now 1, 1 plus uh, 2, sum is now uh, 3. Here after n going increase, so n is 3 now. And uh, n is 3, that go up, check the condition 3 equal to 3, condition is 2, so add here 6 mod 3, remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is 2, sum equal to sum plus n. So sum value is now 3 and n value is 3, 3 plus 3, sum is now 6. Here after n increase, so n is now 4. And here after check the condition while n less than equal to 4, n less than equal to 3. <coughs> so n value is 4, 4 less than equal to 3, condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. If sum double equal to i, sum value is 6, i value is 3. So both are equal, so that coincide. Print of statement. So right here. Uh, print of function, so this uh, percentage because i is uh, integer time. So last in the that leave 8 character space and print the value of i. So i value is 6, so 6 print. And sum again I start from 0. So next i can uh, start with i is given by 6. 1 so i is 7 8 9 10 so if the value of i is 11 so check the condition 11 less than equal to 10 so that condition is not true so that ought to follow so if i am going to check uh, 7 8 9 10 so result uh, that some value and i value want to be equal and uh, if the value of i is raised to 11 so that condition is false so that ought to follow and uh, next that of main function so this is the output between a uh, perfect number between 1 to uh, 10 or uh, 6 so let's uh, execute one more time so condition is 10 here yeah. so 6 is only a perfect number between 1 to 10 so if you want to check till 100 so here you need to give condition and loop will continue i gonna continue till 100 so if you give till 100 condition here yeah. 100 100 so 2 perfect number of 6 and 28 when the value of i oh sorry when the value of i is 28 then some value and i value both are equal so both are equal then that means i value so other case uh, if the value of 20 i value is 24 23 so i and some value won't be equal. So only two conditions: six when the value of i is six, then i some value and i value equal, and when the value of i uh, twenty eight, then some and i value equal, then that print twenty eight. So this is the try and method of this program. So I hope guys you understand how the steps of uh, execution of this program. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you in next video.